this is a valuable platform to all of us as uh, South Africans and indeed there are other people here to share insights on what is being done and what we can still do to improve this beautiful country that we live in, particularly in relation to uh, improving its position as a global investment destination. The reality is that our economy is barely growing, barely growing to address the challenges that our country faces. And while the economy is creating new jobs, the jobs that are being created are not nearly enough to bring down the overall rate of unemployment. We're taking measures to reduce financial costs of doing business, and uh, we're making sure that these are implemented uh, with the greater speed. And all of these issues have been raised by many of you who are here as a business community. So I call on all investors present here, particularly local investors, to be part of this new momentum. Let us be part of working together. The problems and the challenges we face are our common challenges. They are not just challenges for government. Just as we concluded Women's Month, <coughs> where we hoped that the South Africans, particularly South African men, would be able to rise to the challenge of addressing the issue of gender-based violence and the perpetration of the killings of women in our country. But at the same time, we are also facing another huge challenge, the challenge of a number of our people who are taking the law into their own hands, much as they have certain grievances. And I've said that taking action against people from other nations is not justified. I want to commend our security forces for the actions that they have taken in arresting the number of people who have been perpetrating these acts of violence.